Well, hello and good afternoon. Oh, that, that, that start again. Tongue-tied knot. Well, hello and good afternoon. Oh, fuck it. Hi guys. That'll work better. I can't fuck that one up as easily. Uh, speaking of being a massive fuck up, look at this Honda Civic being a cunt. I can't fuck that one up as easily. Uh, speaking of being a massive fuck up, look at this Honda Civic being a cunt. Um, next, uh, me the other day, I was the massive fuck up. Now, over the last week or so, I've been producing videos, uh, like normally on the way to work and then nothing on the way home. So the other night, last night in fact, I sat down and I went, okay, I am going to delete all the useless footage and keep the good stuff on my camera, ready for when I upload it. The only problem is, I miscounted. For some reason, I thought it went useful footage, useless footage, useful, useless. But in fact, it was the other way around, for whatever reason. And uh, so I purposely went through deleting these videos to find out that I'd deleted all the ones I'd recorded. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> two good videos that I'd done. One actually had quite a bit of interesting footage. All gone, never mind. Anyway, moving on. Topic one was I went to the doctor the other day, last week now, and uh, basically he said until he sees the circumstance and the uh, incident in question, e.g. the migraine and the vomiting, until he sees me under those conditions he can't actually tell me for definite. He could do bloods and all sorts of other shit. But basically, because I'm at a normal stance instead of the health problem, he won't be able to tell me jack shit. He can elaborate based on what I tell him, as to his theories, which are the same as mine. But he said it's basically a mix of smoke inhalation, dehydration, and poor health, if you will. I'm still living with smokers and not being very active. So basically, the doctor turned around and you're a fat fuck, you should expect health problems. Quite depressing, really. But never mind. I did cover it in depth in... Well, there goes my bike. It's died on me. i got to get that figured out. Because that's annoying. Um, so yeah, you know, the health related bit is annoying as shit because there's nothing I can actually do about it. Uh, it's just one of them things I'm going to have to live with for now. Why are there so many cars down here today? Asshole. Yeah, I've got up a creek without a paddle sort of situation at the moment. Um, as I say, I want to get out and test my theory, but it's hard to find time. You know, so much going on with family and such. Never mind them. Shout out to Sestrian Vlogger because he's broken his bike <laughs> it would appear he caught my bug that was the other video I did I did a big video saying oh I'm gutted boy you know I'll help you fix it and all that but I deleted that one as well so I'm just doing a quick shout out to say lol enjoy the curse um, hopefully you can pass it on to some poor bugger who isn't you or me and they can deal with it Um, shout out to a chap I know called Kev. Uh, I, <laughs> I covered this in the video as well. I did a shout out video and uh, oh god! Uh, no, Kev passed his bike test recently but hasn't managed to get on the road yet because he's still rebuilding his bike. He is doing up a barn find uh, bandit. 1200cc, whatever. Um, big ass bike. For a big ass shout. So I hope he gets that done soon. Big shout out to him for passing his test. 
Now all we've got to hope is so that I don't fucking delete this video and I actually get it uploaded. Ha ha ha! Okay, I'm obviously on the uh, ride home from work, just on 12 hours. And in those 12 hours, I actually did a lot of talking with tapless dribs. Uh, yeah, he's on the mend. Good to have a chat with him. Ah! Oh, my ball. <laughs> he just sat on my ball. <laughs> Ow. Um, yeah. Accidents take a couple of seconds to develop and then a couple of seconds later they're over. But what? You know, him personally and his entire family, like, you can't, when someone's had an accident, you can't do just a shout out to them. I mean, yes, they're the ones who've gone through the worst of it. You know, they're the ones who are hurt and who are going to be, you know, struggling with that the rest of their lives. And you've got to give a shout out to their families as well, because they're the ones who are, well, at least the ones who stand beside them. Fucking hell, mate. So, to Tackless Ribs, Suffolk Envy, and all the family, a massive shout out from me. You know, hang in there, guys. It can, it will get better. I think my bike doesn't stall. And other things, you know, there's other stuff. Uh, don't crash. <laughs>